YouTube, how's it going? You know, it's kind of exciting. After uh, taking so much time off from vlogging, I've actually got a couple ideas. Um, I'm starting to accept that I can't be so general with my um, episodes like I talked about last time. So, um, I'm gonna maybe take it a little more personal, which sounds dirty, but in fact is not. For a little backstory, I, um, I stay with my grandparents when I'm home usually. Um, I mean, I go home to my parents' house sometimes, but mostly I stay with my grandparents because they live in a more populated area so I can see more of my friends, etc. Um, but I was walking around the house and I noticed something that I don't usually take a lot of notice of. Um, my grandma is a really amazing person. She, um, she's still alive so I'm not gonna get all, you know, sappy and talk about uh, when my grandma died or anything like that. Um, but she's, she's a really remarkable woman. She's in her 70s. She's been married to my grandfather who's also still alive for 57 years? 58? Somewhere in that ballpark range. They've been married since Dirt was young. So, um, and, and they're still happy. Um, I don't know if you can hear the background noise or not, but if you hear any noises, um, it's probably my grandpa yelling because he's really deaf and my grandma talks to him and he has to yell for her to speak up and say what she's trying to say. My grandma's, um, like I said, really amazing. She has died several times. She's had more heart attacks and strokes than um, any person living should have ever had. She has had surgery after surgery and cancer after cancer. Um, she's actually, um, every time she goes into the doctors, they say, oh, you've only got six months to live. Oh, you've only got nine months to live. You've got a year to live. You've got three months to live, etc. They They say that every time she goes in almost. And she's consistently, um, <coughs> sorry. Um, she's consistently proved them wrong for like 15 years, so we've stopped um, listening to the doctor's um, death calls. Another thing that makes my grandma really awesome is that she is an artist. Um, she doesn't paint anymore, but she used to do um, a lot of painting. She would do mostly, mostly she would do oils, but she also dabbled in uh, acrylics. I almost said pastel. She also dabbled in acrylics, but mostly um, her medium was canvas with. Um, oil paints and she did really remarkable landscapes and if you look around the house there's actually um, evidence of her art everywhere. She's a crafty woman, my grandma. She um, she actually painted um, my hope chest. Um, every single one of her children has like 20 of her paintings around the house. Not just because it's like here I painted this you should have it. It's more like oh my god can I please have this. It's beautiful. The first one that um, pops into my view is this one in this room. Um, and it's just like an example. I, you know, you can't really tell from the video camera, but it really is a beautiful piece. Um, and it probably doesn't help that it is, as you can see, right near the ceiling and above a window, so it's kind of difficult to tell it's there or to be able to see it really well. But it is a beautiful piece. These are her scarier pieces. These are the clowns. There is this one, and there is this one, and this guy has a butterfly on his head. That's what that thing is. These are terrifying, I think, but my grandma really likes clowns, so I have yet to burn them. What do you know? Another creepy clown! Oh god, oh god, another clown. Did I mention that she likes painting clowns? I don't know why. I guess we all have our dark, sick side. Now while I say that um, canvas is her main medium, um, it isn't her only medium. My grandma will paint any kind of surface. Like I said, she did my hope chest. Here's another one. It's um, a wooden antique ironing board. And as you can tell, she made it really awesome with, oh, I just love the bright colors in this. Another of her specialties are old buildings, um, like this one. This is the one that's in my room, actually, and I just, I love this piece. It's so, God, I don't know if zooming does it any justice, but it's just such a pretty piece. Um, and even, like, just the grass is so detailed, and I'm always amazed by what she can do with just paint. Again, please don't mind the background noise. Um, this is downstairs, so there are people down here. And also, the lighting is really poor in this room, but this one actually won the purple ribbon, which is like best in the entire fair um, ribbon. My grandma used to show her art at the um, state, at uh, the county fair rather, and she consistently would win best in show. And this is one of her winning ones. It's an elk, it's a pregnant elk in the winter. I'm so glad. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find one of her saws um, in the, cause the other one in the dark room. It's just hard to see, but her other specialty medium is saws. So this is actually like an old 
metal saw that you can get in, and it's amazing, and it, I don't know, it's kind of like a panoramic view, and this is hanging from the rafter in our basement. Basement, by that I mean downstairs. So yeah, I should probably stop going on and on about how awesome my grandma is, because I don't want to make people jealous and have them come steal my grandma, because she's pretty awesome. Um, like I said, she doesn't really paint anymore, but she kind of wants to get back into it. She, um... She was pretty sick a year ago, and we actually thought we were going to lose her, and then she just, like, she died on the table, and then she just came back, and now she's actually in the kitchen right now making chicken cacciatore with my grandpa for dinner, um, being awesome and all that jazz. So hopefully she'll be painting again soon. My name is Keps, and I approve this message. I see a and I want it be